Hebe mich auf Position. Feinde gesichtet. Oh, that's a big Cybernisk. That cyber disc is absolutely massive. Can my shot see it? He can indeed. Twenty six damage, that's amazing. I don't even know what type of cyber disc that is. I would like to get a look at it, but already there. Unfortunately, I can't yet. On the move. We do need to get Roger. Yes, Commander. Back a little bit so we can heal him. Let's have a peek at him. Um, that one. It's a dreadnought. It has squad sight. It gets aggression, which is going to be very bad for us because we've just piled everybody up in front of its sight. It's got rapid reaction, heat warheads, heat ammo. It's got a lot of abilities. This is a powerful, powerful cyber disc. And it looks like it's got about 40 health. It's insane. Unfortunately, we can't get everybody Rolling. into range to shoot at it. So I'm going to have to have a hope that this turns a miracle. Um, I mean, we could use command. On uh, Actually, we would have to use command twice to make mass shot be able to fire again. Oh, we can't do it anyway. I'm going to bring Roger back. I think. Mm, but maybe I can't because that cyber disk is overwatching. So he's going to probably heal the cyber disc. Yep. So I'm going to hope it moves rather than doing anything else. And I'm going to hope he's the last turn, the last enemy that moves on this on the enemy turn. This is going to be a bad. Is that all you got? Ooh. Incoming fire. I guess because it's lower down, its accuracy is affected, but um, still scary stuff. It's repaired itself by two as well. Let's see if we can get a good hit from Maria. Oh, Maria can only see the drone. Kill confirmed. But the thing that was in front of her that stopped her from seeing it has been destroyed now, so... Hmm, seven damage. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. One damage. Here we go with the defense bonuses. It's got some powerful defenses. We're gonna fire a rocket at it though, because we've got heat warheads. That hopefully that'll do some damage. Actually, I could have shot it normally with Ryan because Ryan's got executioner, I think, which would have done a nice I'm rolling. bit of extra damage. It is almost dead. Heading there now. There we go. The dreadnought is dead. Nailed him. 
That was a tough enemy. So of course I'm gonna to that provide some medical attention here. First medic kit. Come on, time to Med kit use up. of this mission so far. We've done well. Um, we'll leave these guys all on Overwatch here while we are waiting to move everybody again. There was a seeker still alive? I need to get back there. On my way. Hmm. I'm on it, Commander. This is bad. I just gotta hope people can actually shoot him off. Nice, Maria. That was uh, something I didn't expect. Oh yeah, hand fried. <laughs> that was weird. I didn't expect that at all. At least Bashrat can heal himself if he needs to. But I'm gonna hold on to his med kit for now. Where did he go? Anything else down here? Got it. With the guys. It didn't seem it. For now. Yeah, let's dash well right back up that way. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes. We'll start moving across this room. And I'm gonna bring Mesh up, actually, I think. To, uh sit behind one of these consoles up here. Now, this is always a problem here. Trying to dash up to get into position to use some of the cover. There's the door. So we might actually be fine just to dash people up. Let's move. So let's do that. Yes, выполняю. With some of these guys, at least. Let's do this. In love, Orders confirmed. On the move. And we'll move everyone we can forward. Roger, Dodger. Maria's gonna have to reload. Headed there now. I think the final We're room is after go. this doorway. If I remember correctly. Oh, so the mutants are in this door. I don't think they'll come through. But maybe we could get them to come through. There's still got something meant to deal with that we've not seen yet. On it. Which is kind of surprising. Let's get Roger Verstanden. mounted on the door. Location confirmed. And we'll get Jordan sat down in the middle. Bring Woo Woo forward as well. Sadila. We've got a medic that we can bring down. Rolling out. Target confirmed. On Fortunately, our way. Maria and Masha have got a bit of ways to go. Affirmative. You know, I thought this mission would be really tough, but it's actually not been too bad so far. 
Right. Um, let's open the door. Oh, I said it's not been so bad so far, and then um, suddenly six mutant elites appear. Things just got a whole lot crazier. Unfortunately, there was no critical hit there. We do have some rockets we can still use, so we will. Boom. Get somebody to get them out of cover. There is a lot of them to deal with. And we don't have enough cover to help out here. If we get another rocket in there, perhaps. We can. There is a bit of tile scatter, though. That's a problem. Because that tile scatter could send a rocket into this wall here, or that wall. What about a shredder rocket? Try and weaken them a little bit. Let's give it a try. Rockets away. This is gonna hurt. Nice. Shredded three of them. Um, I'm gonna tr try and separate people a bit now. I've got like nowhere to put Maria. Nice. Got what rid of one already. We can kill a few of them, it'll make the rest of them panic, so that's what I'm sort of hoping for. I don't want to destroy the power core because that could be useful to us. But it may be all we can do. Nice job, Roger. Nice job. Kind of sucked. Although we can use Boo Boo here to give Roger another try. Which one do we go for? Decent. Not spectacular, unfortunately. Put on some smoke. Help these guys out a bit. Ah, there's like nowhere to put Maria. Moving out. So we did kill two of them and damage two of them pretty badly. There's some berserkers and floaters here now. This party's just starting now. So I'm gonna hope they all start piling up in this doorway. I might try and retreat some of our guys. Here we go. Yep, all the grenades are coming out now. They don't have a whole lot of cover to use between them. Things are gonna get bad now. So 
So we've got a choice of shooting at Berserker or not shooting at Berserker. Can Chug, I wonder, get a rocket straight through to that, that Berserker pile right there? I mean, that Elite Mutant pile. Kind of? I think it's worth my... Firing rocket. Worth giving it a shot. We did hit him. Or we hit one of them. So the tile scatter sent it off to the right a little bit. I'm out! That was weird. I guess I'll shoot a berserker. out of the way. Um, I need to try and retreat some of these guys out of further up because we don't have a whole lot of cover to use. Definitely going to send a grenade these guys away. I kinda wish I could get further. I should shoot though first because I get two shots. And you never know. It's probably because Jordan is damaged. I don't think he's got the same ability as I think Bill Murray's got the ability that lets him heal. Slightly. Their cover's holding up, surprisingly. I mean, do stand and fight or do I keep shooting at these guys? Oh my. That could have been extremely bad. <laughs> when they both stood up there, I got very scared. So Good thing Roger's really good. The problem is I've got two of our guys that are like stood out in the open. They can't do a whole lot. On it. Gladly. If we can kill one more Billy Muton, I think that will get rid of him. Because I think they will retreat. I should use an AP grenade on these guys here. Granada! Obliterated one of them. Now I need to try and get people up closer to start healing some of our team. They're backing up. Advance. I'm going to hope he backs off. Same with his friend over there. These floaters are going to come towards us because they've got no fear right now. As I said, no fear. That's a load of bull. Or maybe I'm going to hope that they shoot towards Jordan and they miss. So he gets his reactive shot. I'm all out. Uh, it's suppressed. I don't think I'll get a reaction shot. Okay, there we go. He's backing off. And luckily, he can't get healed. Otherwise, that would be a problem. He's trying to run. 
be so injured he can barely run. I think we made the right choice holding our ground there. Rather than chasing him down. But we do have a lot of damaged people through that entire situation. But we did deal with everything really quickly. All those elite mutons, we did well to get rid of as many as we did in that short amount of time. Right, let's start healing people up. Moving to position. Got a few people that need to be healed. Come on, time to cowboy up. I could do with healing Jordan. Because his he's been affected quite badly. I'm ready. Through the damage he's taken. Let's do this! I didn't see what else was traveling with those floaters, though. Got Ryan here. So a risky move. Hide behind the power core. Negative damage. Oops. Got it. Move. There we go. Right. Hmm. Flush might not kill him. But that did. Step aside. Got combat rush for some of our guys as well. Through doing that. Got it. Moving. Hey, it's a mutant. That must have been part of that squad with a berserker and stuff. Roger's in desperate need of medical. What's the best way to go about this? Can I get a grenade up there? Could we saw him go behind either the alien entertainment thing or that big piece cover there. Granada. It's behind there. They're in the walls. Um. Okay. Will do. Is this what the aliens do for fun? What have we revealed there? At least they're not playing computer games. <laughs> Oh, it's a mutant. Yeah, those aliens don't play computer games. But they should, because then they get awesome games like this to play. Um, I might get... Ah, this is a problem, though, because we're going to... This mutant... Is going to cause us problems very quickly. Moving. Because he can still throw a grenade. And we do not want more enemies throwing grenades, at us, especially when everybody's all bunched up right now down there. Use one for all. And let's get healed up. I think we have to use Steven again to heal. Headed there now. Take some aspirin. You'll be fine. Steven on Overwatch. Roger, let's bring him back if we can. On the move. So we can heal him up. He's got good movement range anyway, so he's easily able to get back to the front line quickly. Easy now, soldier. What's great is everybody in the squad, except for Woo Woo, is in um, XCOM 2. Like in my squad. The only reason Woo Woo's not in there is because 
he apparently dies during this uh, war, if I remember his lore correctly for his character in the second game. His uh, character is killed, and uh, someone else that was saved by him so bears his name me. in honor of him. Yeah, you back off. I was kind of hoping Ryan there would shoot him. Damn it. Chug's going to. I think they're retreating as well because they're this, upset. I need ammo. Oh. Is it? Oh yeah, that's that elite mutant from earlier. I'm not so much worried about him anymore, because he's running around in a bit of a panic Stay dead. since his buddy is dead, or his buddies are dead. Moving. Let's get right up there to secure placement, secure our spot. They can pave the way for everyone else to get up there. Yeah, got off. Oh yeah. So who else is desperate in need for medical? No one else, I think. We could do with a quick bit of spray. Affirmative. But otherwise, it's pretty good. Back online. Heading to that location. So let's see. Uh, Roger's one bar of health off of been back to full strength, but he should be okay. As long as he's not hit by a critical shot at any point, he should be good. Lewis. Let me move Maria, and you can get next to Woo Woo and heal him up some. Rolling out. On my way. Come on, time to yeah, I think up. at this point I may split this into two episodes. Because even if I do some editing down like I want to, this is going to be a long episode. I mean, a long mission. So we will have to probably edit it down some. I'm on it! And maybe split it into two episodes. Which meets my my episode limit anyway by doing that. Because I only want to do 75 episodes. This will be split into episode 74 and 5. Ooh, is he going for a shot? No, he's not. Good, because I'm going to kill him. I need a medical evac, right now. <laughs> he actually made him panic at 92%. Everyone else is like 100%. On my way. Okay. On my way. Let's move Rainwater in the middle there. And we can move the rest of these guys up. Принято. It's needed. We can dash Maria up. Running. Same with Chug. Aye, aye, Commander. We've got both our Rocketeers up front at the moment. I want to get Roger up there. No one fights like he does. Look at us. I think Roger in this series became like the best soldier overall. Roger there. He just I don't know, he, he just puts out I'm so much it. damage and has such high accuracy. Combined with his abilities, he's just unstoppable. Yes, I think there's been very few instances as well of him being yes, like it. injured for a now. long time. Let's see what's up here. So there's our mutant friend. Plus. <laughs> Off he goes. Boo! Um, there should be a sectoid commander 
all the way down there, I think. Unless they've changed it to be ethereals, which I'll be annoyed by if it is. We got a sectoid commander and some outsiders. And then we got our elite muton from earlier. I feel like he's the priority. He could do some major damage to us. Let's try and kill one of these outsiders. Maybe both of them. Oh, nah. Adjusting sights. Let's do this then. In that case. Rockets away. Maybe I should have done this first so we could have got him out of cover. Outsiders are pretty dangerous. They can still be quite a threat. They, they don't do a ton of damage, I don't think. I think they like just have standard damage, but their accuracy is pretty high. It's too bad Roger can't take two shots here. Eliminate. That's another one down. So we don't have any cover here to really use. Stepping off. Send Lewis all the way over there though. Because maybe he can flank shot something. Heading to that location. Push Steven up. He's still running away from his elite mutants, which is good. So maybe I shouldn't have shot him this turn. And shot at the outsiders or something. That's the sectoid commander at play. That's a lot of health. He just regenerated. Wait, do we have him for um, my character back? Yes. Let's game up sure. here. Can't see anything yet. Roger, tracking. That was weird. It wasn't showing him as suppressing us until we got closer. Negative damage. That's kind of an odd thing for the game to do. Moving. That's not something that would normally happen. <laughs> yeah, I felt a bit strange having to use Lewis to do that kill, but luckily Lewis is pretty solid. He's a pretty solid Position bestätigt. soldier with that. Oh, we've just unlocked, found a, like, a load of Finn men and Seekers now as well. This fight is about to get tough. I forget, do we just destroy that thing though, or do we... I think we have to fight everything off first. Um... Um, we don't have everybody up there yet, which is annoying. Let's top off Come on, Mash Rat's to health. Up. Try and do something. Got all these Seekers to take care of. They need to die. Because they can cause all sorts of problems for us. That unfortunately missed. I'm on it. Okay, so that's a decent spot apparently for my shot. Let's end this. It's one seeker out of the way. Comet rushes in effect as well. We do have in the zone active. Very nice, Jordan. Um, I feel like there was another possible moving out um, outsider, but um, right now I don't know where he is. 
Roger that. But maybe it was just that sectoid commander and a couple of uh, sectoids that I saw instead. I don't really know. Oh, Ooh. It's a decent hit. I'm gonna hope for no poison or hits, because Finman are still scarily accurate. An outside, I mean a, uh, yeah, one of those guys went into stealth mode back there as well. We do have two fin men to deal with, though. I thought we'd be a few more, honestly. Oh! <laughs> Look at that line. Damn it! Missed the target. Wow, he's got some major lightning reflexes there. Able to dodge all of that. I expect him to go for a suppression, actually. Perhaps not to him for being brave. I think I hear a muton. Oh, it's that elite muton still. Still running around, didn't know what to do with his life. There's a powered up sectoid. If that commander comes into view, we'll nail him. Because that will just kill all of them. Продолжим. Now, unfortunately, my shot can't actually see anything. I thought he might be able to from there. This is not the case. Yes. Uh, not gonna let this um, room go without a fight. Will do. I'm gonna put Maria Move over out. there. Because maybe she'll be more useful there. Because right now she's sort of in a rough position where she can't really do a whole lot. Same problem with mass shot at the moment. Let's do this. Luckily, though, I think we've got enough people covering just in case the seekers get up here. While in stealth, I don't think they'll get up here this turn, but maybe next turn they will. He doesn't have lightning reflexes. This one. The hell. Out of clips. It's gonna shoot at my shot. Ow! That's pretty bad. There's a seeker. I think his stealth mode just got deactivated as well. He's. Sectoids trying to push up on us. We need to take out that Finn man. Because he is a bit of a problem for us at the moment. I should really heal up my shot. What can Maria see? She can't see anything. Well, she can, but she can't fight that far. Hmm, I can't get Steven into range either to heal him. You know what? I'm going to do this. Выхожу на точку. Oh, there's a muton down there. And that muton did a fair amount of damage.
Get rid of the seeker. That's more dangerous than a sectoid is. That's affirmative. Can you get Lewis to flank a sectoid? Shot is in such a bad position right now. It didn't help that this cover's not all that useful. Yes, Commander. Because it's like. I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe. It is like a. It's got an extra block there so they can't see further down. Can we miss the target? Or even ahead of them in some cases. Affirmative! Let's get mash shot back there. And let's get him healed. Let's be careful with the medkits though, we're starting to use them up pretty Rub fast all of a sudden. On it, you wimp. The mash shot's only got phalanx armor, he doesn't have the uh, big armor. Slushes. He doesn't have the carapace armor because we could we don't have enough of them. That Finn man is almost dead. It pains me that he's not dead. Let's do it. It's got one health. I'm hoping he misses all his shots here. Yeah, but I So we've got a mutant and an elite mutant down there still. We do have these seekers in the way. They're gonna be naughty. Jordan's paying the price here. Mima. Just a little bit. I think that might have been the sectoid commander there. That's annoying. Come, Maria. Good hit, good hit. That all you got. Close. But now we can see a whole lot more of the enemies. Finn man is out of the way now. We really need to look after Jordan though. He's not doing so hot at the moment. It's all the seekers dead at least. Marie's got a good shot in his Gonna need to reload soon. Nice. Unfortunately, she missed the other Damn enemy. It. So now we've got these stupid sectoids to deal with. Can't enemy still alive. Moving to position. Which are all kind of in pain in the ass to like spots at the moment. Let's move. That alien is clearly different from the others. It's wielding a power unlike anything we've previously encountered. Except for all of the other sectoid commanders we've run into. And the um ethereals we ran into as well. Take him down. Moving! Let's get my shot in position. Decent hit. Here we go. Upset Rogers here to slaughter. Slaughtering them all.
So I'm going to jump down with Lewis. Heal up. Aye, aye, Commander. Jordan, a slight amount. And put Lewis into cover. Come on, time to cowboy up. Uh, I don't think I can actually. I thought you had the ability to move again. But I guess not. Well, maybe if I do this. Actually, I should have put him there and then used that ability. That one ability. That allows him to, um. to, uh, act as cover. There's two sectoids left. One's a sectoid commander and one's just a regular sectoid, I think. He's running as far back as he can. Let's move. Yeah, you're not gonna hit me, sectoid. That all you got? I believe these are the last two enemies now. I'm gonna focus fire on the sectoid commander. And hopefully that'll be it. Feels like we're finally turning the tide. Done it. Now that we've captured their device, the aliens are running out of secrets. It's imperative that we begin the research as soon as possible. Now that we've captured this device, we should probably be expecting the aliens to pursue us more aggressively. I doubt losing it was part of their plan. So, Bleeding Rumham was a complete success. We got a few injuries, but... Compared to the amount of aliens we had to fight along the way, those few injuries were worth it. I think our team did excellent. And that mission went a lot better than I expected it to. I thought we'd be running into a lot of problems on that mission. So got UFO flying around in Asia. I would hope everyone gets a promotion from this. Commander, I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question, if the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. So, we've got a hypoe beacon which we won't be researching in this current series, unless I come back to it at some point in the future. But for now, let's promote some people. Both Maria and Ryan got promotions. Ryan's now up to the top, Javelin Rockets. They can travel much further and can hit targets beyond your visual range, that's nice. Danger Zone increases the effect of suppression and rockets. Oh, the area effect, sorry. And tandem warheads, explosives employed by the soldier do full damage to the maximum extent of their area of effect. Both of these are pretty good. But maybe we should have tandem warheads on him. And then we've got Maria, who's at top rank now. Uh, for saw and LMG series weapons, confers plus one when using flush and plus two for standard or rapid fire shots. Confers plus four for sniper. Okay. Um, I think for Maria, the extra conditioning would work better. Give her that extra health boost, you know. Um, everyone else is good, surprisingly. I'm surprised Jordan's not out of action. My shot is, though. That... Finman did a number on him. The 
We got a lot of uh, goodies from that. Alien Entertainment. And the uh, country has rejoined Remember, the council. We will be watching. So I'm curious, does that satellite stay up for me? It does. That's pretty interesting. And the kind of can China's gone down a slight amount after that. Well, that's gonna do it, guys. That is the end of this series, I think. For now. Again, like I said, maybe I'll come back to it in the future at some point. I don't know how fast the alien defense mission, I mean the base defense mission will come up on here. Because I did want to do that as well at some point. To round off the series and prepare for the next one. But unfortunately I don't know, I can't remember when that one takes place. I know it's after this alien base mission that we just done, but I don't remember how soon after. But I said I'd end it on episode 75, so we will be. So everybody. Thanks everybody that's participated in the series, and anybody that has watched it and enjoyed it. It's greatly appreciated, and doing these uh, XCOM series is more fun with all you guys participating. And uh, not just me, just naming people random things. Like random... I don't know, I don't even know what I'd call half his characters, or if I'd just keep the names that they're given. But, you know, it, it makes it more fun when everybody's joined in. So, I will be starting the XCOM 2 series soon, for War of the Chosen. So if you'd like to participate in that, keep your eyes peeled for a video coming soon. Where I will be announcing when it was starting and how you can create a character for that, if you don't already have one for that series. Otherwise, thank you for watching this series and this video. Hope you enjoyed it all, and I'll see you for the next video. Catch you guys later.